Psycho Running. Psycho Running, Ken Castrico. Toastmasters, esteemed guests, judges, who here has ever donned a pair of running shoes in their life? Raise your hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you have now, and let me ask you this question. Who here still continues to don those running shoes and continues to run many miles a week, a month, or a year? Raise your hand. Point, point right there taken. I'm here to tell you, talk to you today about psycho running. People that get shoes, continue to run in them, and continue to do all the things that runners do, which is, in order, they get hurt, they're addicted, they get hurt again, they get more addicted, and they see many hospitals, many, many physicians, many PTs, you name it. You, they've tried everything in the book to try to get over any kind of a uh, ailing knee or a P, you know an IT band or a plantar fasciitis in their feet. I'm going to talk to you today about us crazy people, the psycho running community. How did I get involved in running? Well, I got involved in running because somebody that was a psycho runner told me how great it was to go out and run and how, how wonderful it was to be around the community of runners and people that are all together and community and, and everything. And, and, and I didn't even ask her, how many miles of, of, do you run? What do you run? Well, come to find out, she's an ultra marathoner. So she doesn't just run 5Ks, 10Ks. She runs 50Ks, 100 miles, 30 miles, 50 miles. And I said, this is fun. I said, if you want a car, I'll get you a car. <laughs> I, need to go to, I mean, there's a run that goes from Squaw Valley to Auburn, California. If you need a car, I'll get you a car. I got, I got one. I can loan you. She said, no, no, no. It's fun. It's, it's a lot of fun, the community. and yeah, You better have some community going 100 miles on foot. So I was playing basketball. I played basketball for many years, probably 15, 16 years I played basketball. And I finally got tired of getting hurt. Because, <laughs> you know, basketball is a full-contact sport. So I was getting hurt all the time. So I decided I'd run. So I got out. I went out and did three miles, and it was great. Kind of hard. You did it in the morning. One time I went out a little bit too far and had to come back. So I was out, went out a mile and a half. I got stuck. I went out and got lost, got three and a half out. I had to go three and a half back. Well, I kind of fell in love with it after that, believe that or not. So I asked my running friend, well, you know, was, is there a group that I can join? I said, sure. You know, there's plenty of groups. My group is a great group. You'll love this group. So I just want to tell you, the first running experience I had with these guys was we met at a fire station on Peavine, now Somerset, and I thought we were just going to go for a couple mile run. Well, six miles later, uphill, in a foot of snow, because it snowed, started snowing when we left, these guys, they don't stop when it snows or they do anything. They keep going no matter what the conditions are. Everybody else, I've been trouncing, trying to run uphill on Peavine during a snowstorm, and this is in December. I look back, they're all gone. There's no one there. In fact, I look down the hill on Peavine, you can see way down the hill, and there they all are. They're going home. They didn't bother to tell me this. They just went home. So I spent that first run trudging down through the snow, I got hurt, I got almost hypothermic, I got a love for running. <laughs> That's why I'm psychotic. That's how I got into running. What I figured out after I got into running was that you can't just go run. You can't just go out and run. You have to be trained. You have to learn how to run. When I asked my friend Allison how to run, she said, well, you just go run. Just go run. Just go uphill. Go downhill. Go flat. Just run. Put one foot in front of the other. You'll be fine. After a numerous, numerous injuries, a couple years of just hobbling around, I finally figured out how to run. I got a coach. I got strengthened. And right now I'm in the, in the off-season of my running, and I'm getting strengthened right now. 
So that consists of more pain and more. Am I convincing anybody here? To <laughs> the, I would say the last thing I'd like to tell you guys about is I'd like to tell you a little bit about the benefits of running. The benefits of running are exactly what I said. There is a community. You don't have to run. If you run with our group, you don't have to run the big miles. We're, we're used to running 30 to 50 miles a week, depending on the week and depending on what time of year it is. Right now it's an off season. But there's people that come and they walk with us. There's, there's people that will come and walk while we run the big miles. We'll, they'll walk out and then they'll turn around at a certain time and come back. I don't want to totally freak you out from the psychotic people that go out there and try to do these long runs. I will tell you that it is an amazing sport that it's a lot of people together that normally would not get together. The diverse range of people that we have is awesome. It's also a way to give back. We've been using the sport to give back to the community through runs of all kinds of, of distances, 5K, 10K. We time races. We go and help out at aid stations. It's a lot of fun. A lot of us psychos are out there with other psychos, and you have something to talk about. That's really great. The last race I did was a 5K. I didn't actually run it. I actually helped do it. It was called the Lactation Station 5K, which is a great thing for a guy to go time. We had the big latch on at the end of that one. That was a lot of fun. But it brought out all kinds of people and all kinds of things, and we're able to give back to the community through running. So it's helped me go a long ways into helping the community and give back. So I just want to review. One, if you're going to start running, probably don't start running with the people I run with. Start running with people who run 5Ks, 10Ks. The second thing is, is get strong. Learn how to run. Learn, learn how to do it. it. It's just not putting one foot in front of the other. And give back to your community. It's a great way to give back. And if you don't run, there's all other kinds of things to do. But if you want to join us psychos, we run on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and Saturdays, and Sundays. I would expect to see all of you guys there. <laughs> Thank you very much.